In this video, I want to go over an effect called the blur effect. So I'm going to show you where it is and just a whole bunch of different things you can do with this um, really cool effect. And this effect is not at all like a, a situational effect, which means a very common and widely used effect. And I, I personally use this effect a lot. So let me go, go over here and head over to the effects panel. Now once you're in the effects panel, you want to head over to here this category called the blur effect. Now as you can see there are two, four, six, seven different um, types of blur effects. So let's go over each one of them and basically just show you what they do and kind of show you what you can actually do with this effect. So the first one is the directional blur. So let's put on the direct the directional blur and it's just it's just a directional blur and there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do with it. You could change uh, the angle which way you want uh, the directional blur to go. You could change, um, you could obviously change the amount. This is probably not a very, I, I don't know what I would say commonly, I don't think it's, I don't really ever use this directional blur, but if that's something that you're, um, that's the effect you're trying to go for, yeah, the directional blur just, I mean, I, mean, I guess it's pretty much self-explanatory. It's just whichever uh, direction you want. Yeah, honestly, there's. I mean, I'm sure you could also you could keyframe this. I'm thinking like there's a way you could keyframe it into different locations. So you get this really cool, like it's like a really cool door. Like, that, that, that's honestly kind of really really cool. So again, a lot of the, uh, a lot of these blur effects is kind of honestly um, up to your own imagination. There's a whole bunch of different things you could do um, with the directional blur. It's a lot of it is up to your uh, imagination so that's the first one so let's go ahead and just uncheck it now let's go over to focus to me personally this is my favorite uh, of the different blur effects now obviously as you can see wherever here that's not blurred so wherever you uh, change the focus is obviously is not blurred so let's say I want this in focus I'll just drag it over here everything else is um, blurry now of course you could uh, change the amount so how much you want it blurred that's not blurred at all so it's up to you how much you um, want it blurs you could change the amount you could change as you can see right here here's the uh, focus effect so you could change the softness uh, how soft you want it you could change the emphasis I think that's how you pronounce that uh, again it doesn't quite do the, the most important part is probably this part the height how high you want as you can see it's changing the blur right there I mean sorry not the height the width over here is the height, how tall as you can see right here, that's the height of the effect, and that is the width of the effect. The height and the width are probably the most important parts, as well as you can just change the amount, how much you want it. So that's just the focus blur. For me, let's see if I can just, Command Z, Command Z undoes everything, just in case you don't know that. But this effect is the most common uh, blur effect I use actually for uh, all my thumbnails, uh, for all these. Uh, Final Cut Pro videos. So let's go ahead and let's try this one. This one is the, the to me personally the second most common one. So as you can see this one will literally blur out everything. So now no for, uh, no focus, no directional, no nothing. It'll literally just absolutely blur out everything. So if you want a complete blurry background, uh, you want to use this. You can mess with the horizontal, you can mess with the vertical the um, the vertical part of it. Um Personally, or not personally, the, the best thing is you, you. This one is probably just um, the amount, how much um, you want it. So as you can see, there are a lot. I'm gonna literally just go through every single one of them. Then you could also try the prism blur. This one's a really, um, really cool effect. It's kind of like the directional blur. Uh, again, you could change the amount. This effect I think is more uh, situational, so it's only used uh, in certain situations. You should just be able to. Yeah, it's just that's actually like think about that. Think about key. If you don't know what keyframing is, then you, uh, I made a video on keyframing. But if you know what keyframing is, that's really cool. I'm thinking like a, I don't know, like a music video effect. Uh, that's actually a really cool thing if you uh, uh, keyframe it, which should, yeah, right here, you can just keyframe it right here. Uh, let's try the radio blur. That's honestly um, really, really cool. Again, a lot of these effects, this one, like the prism and the directional, you could uh, keyframe this and you can make this effect really, uh, I, I personally think that's a really cool effect. Again, it's personal preference and keyframing it probably makes it look 
um, a lot cooler. So let's head over to uh, Sharpen. A lot of these effects I personally don't actually use that much, so I'm actually learning uh, as well as you're learning too. So let's head over to the effects and go over here to the amount. Uh, I personally don't think that I don't think that's a really cool effect. Maybe if you have like a really high quality camera, it might look better. I'm using like a G7, so the sensor and everything like that isn't super high quality, so it may it might only work with a really expensive camera. So let's try the zoom blur. And as you can see, that honestly looks that that's, that's actually really that, that looks like if, you, if you've um, ever seen Star Wars, you could use that as, a, I'm not sure, you put some kind of blue effect, use that and keyframe it as like, a, what it was called, a, a, a hyperspace. If you want to change the color of that, you could literally keyframe this and there you go, you've just, you just created a hyperspace effect uh, from Star Wars. If you don't know what that is, then I, I feel, I feel bad for you. Definitely uh, go watch Star Wars. But as you can do, you could click on it right here. Uh, you could change the amount, how much uh, you want it zoomed in. But those are the different um, blur effects. I think I went through every single one of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, okay. So I've went through every single effect. I think so. Maybe I'll, I'll watch this back and realize I missed one. But those are pretty much all of the different um, blur effects right here. The most common ones for me are the focus one. I primarily really enjoy the focus one. Uh, I've no, I'm not even going to try to pronounce that, but this one will just blur out absolutely everything. This is probably my most used one, second most used one. There's a whole bunch of different stuff you could do with the focus. So use the focus and this one, primarily just like the amount is pretty much the only thing you really have to worry about. And then there's like the prism, the radial, the sharpen, zoom, the directional. Those are all for like very uh, certain uh, situations. As well as like I said before, you could probably keyframe it and you could create some really, really cool effects. This is just this is just a tutorial on going over the different blur effects in Final Cut Pro. I actually did not know these existed. Probably, for uh, I don't even know. Probably the first couple months I was using this program, and thankfully I figured out that these effects exist. So I really hope that this video brought uh, shed some light on these effects. If you didn't know they existed, if you did, hopefully maybe you found a couple of really cool ones that I tried ones that you haven't used before, and maybe you uh, want to use them in a future video. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. I'm giving away a Google Home Mini once I reach 1,000 subscribers. New Final Cut Pro tutorials every single day. See you guys in the next one. Peace.